Well, how do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Everything's good? Yeah. Well, last Friday there was an incident happening in Santa Monica, California, when another yes, another mass shooting has happened. Yeah. I mean, what is it about those mass shootings? And what is it about those type of people that done those things? And apparently it's not about how you actually how many people you shoot is about what's going on in this mind right here. Well, this guy, um, who um actually first he shot out his um his you know, his father and brother and then he went out to a school to actually injure and kill people. And and yet, even though when the police got him, they they killed him. So, but I mean, it is don't what, does those people get tired of hearing news about massacres? I mean, that I mean, we hear about incidents in Arizona, Colorado, um, Connecticut, and really, what is going on in the world these days? Really, what is going on? I mean, this is something that isn't supposed to happen. Really, what's going on in the world? But the problem is, is that, you know, this whole gun control thing is probably not doing the right thing because most people want to, you know, defend themselves. But at the same time, you have to use God People that are met, that are critically insane, have to use God. And unfortunately, this is about this is about a mentally disturbed individual, yet another mentally disturbed individual who wants to injure innocent individuals. I mean, really, it's just sad that things happen like that. You know, I mean. What can I say? It's just that. And it's just that that, that you know, that people have to lose lives. Well, I remember last night I was watching an interview on Pierce Morgan about a woman who, you know, already, who actually did survive the shootout. And the great thing about her is that she, she's able to live to tell her story. Because what happened that terrible Friday, I mean, it's just horrible. And and she realized that she could have lost her life had she could have at least done something about it, you know? I mean, what is going on in this world? I mean, and especially that individual. I mean, too bad he's dead and... Unfortunately, he didn't live enough to explain why he did what he did because every crime that happens, especially massacre, is always a motive. I mean, there's always a motive. So, I mean, really, things don't have to happen like that. I mean, that's just sad, isn't it? And just sad that some people have to lose their lives because of that. But, I mean, that's just not the case, huh? But, but I was very, uh, but I, but I, but it was great that she's able to actually tell what happened, you know, and she realized that, you know, that this system of gun control is failing, and, you know, and that's the point that, you know, people need to, you know, do something about it, you know, because this is something that is still happening, and, and unfortunately, it's just sad that it is happening these days. So, yeah. But on uh, that note, um, switching gears, um, I wanted to tell you that um, next time I will be doing my 100th episode. <laughs> Yay! And, it's the, and I think it's, I'm also very excited about it. So. Hopefully you guys stay tuned for my 100th episode because I got something 
no special for you guys, so you better get ready. So that being said, anything that you like to say about this video, please leave me a comment, and you can also look me up on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, or and and whatever side you can find me. So that being said, thank you very much, and goodbye.